because art is like being an art being an artist is just um whatever it's just being you in your purest form and you don't have to be a singer or literally an artist like you can be whatever you want to be but if you do something to the best of your ability then that's you being an artist and i think that's what i want people to want to do when they're listening to my music there was one day i did a school talent show when in year five and i realized then when i came third and i thought like it was terrible like the person that won shouldn't have won and i was like oh my gosh i actually want to be a singer and then from then that's when i got into gospel choir and yeah just gradually started becoming what i wanted to do you, i think we all have a purpose of what we're doing with music and why you're doing it i think staying true to that in this industry is really difficult it's so easy to just get money thrown at your face and go the easy route out but integrity is such a um i just think there's nothing better than that to have because you can't be happier like than staying true to what to what yourself like it sounds cliche but that's the truth like if you don't stay true to yourself great it's like great you're getting paid everything like that but at the end of the day i would rather be happy knowing that i stuck to what i said in the beginning i think i'm still figuring it out as you'll hear on the ep freedom is a massive thing for me and i think that um just in with everything that's going around the world right now freedom is a big message we need to help and spread like just spread the love literally um and my message i think is that my purpose is to spread it's just to help people and just to help them hit, like get a voice and just to be inspired by it i think when especially when you get a fan base because a lot of people they will like they'll literally believe every word you say um that you get some fans like that and i think your your music can be used in ne like negatively or positively and i think both ways are so effective so you need to be careful like in what you're putting out there i believe that like what you put into like what you put out in the world it'll come back and especially with youth like music is a massive role in their life so when they when you've got when they're listening to stuff that's uplifting, that's all they're going to be reflecting. But when they're doing the opposite, then like it's giving them a reason to do something because you're doing it or you're saying it. I would have definitely wanted to work with some of the greats, in my opinion, like um, Erica, D'Angelo. I love Miguel as well. I'd love to just be with them and learn. So to travel and to speak and to share and to have people love what I'm doing there and to help them there. That would be a great achievement. I did actually learn that um, through just being in sessions with people, um, I learned a technique just to go up to the mic and just do like any single melody, like saying like just saying nonsense over the music until you catch something that you like, and then once you do that, then you pick out a melody and then you use that to, with the lyrics, and then you just start writing from them and then repeat the process. For example, Summer Jam, my first single, I wrote that like about something I'd experience myself yeah that 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 they're more interesting because you've really experienced it so you're like reliving the story in your head and you can be a bit more creative with it like maybe change a few aspects or not make it as detailed as it was or etc etc um but at the moment my new project is more about it's not like about what not about stories or stuff like that it's more about um the present and what we're doing right now like where we're living what we're living in right now basically like as i said like there's a lot of freedom on it there are obviously some songs about love, but um, the project will be called Into the Wilderness, and for me that's like into like it's the beginning, and that's why I feel where a lot of us are out right now. Like, a lot of people think it's the end, and I just think it's just starting. I personally believe that this like we're not just here for this world, basically. Stuff like this, stuff like Trump is just saying like only now people are starting to kind of wake up and realize what's wrong when there's been something wrong throughout the whole time, and I think that's why. It, because it's only starting to clock on now, it's the start, like it's about to happen. So that's where I wanted to kind of write from. But I'm just personally just starting this journey and this is my outlook on like what I want to say right now. Um, I think that like having music as just an opportunity for young people, it can, it, it's a bond, it's like a language of its own, like as we say all the time, if you go to a different country, music will still connect two people that don't speak the same language. And it's the same thing with like youth, where youth is like, you're from this place, you're from this place, it's like two different countries, so it's like you can, you can use music to form this bond and to stop all of this nonsense. And I think that um, it's such a big 
like things like Notting Hill Carnival and so that's supposed to be like massive. That's music is like one of the biggest parts of that carnival and a lot of stuff happens there. Whereas if we took that and made it a positive kind of, like there's so many more positive attributes that we should be allowing to happen instead of, I just think stuff like that are just, um, just days that the government throw at us like just to have and it's not organised properly, it's not, it's asking for a disaster so it's like if you organise music events set up actually to help people, it's got a lot of thought behind it and it's got like a motive behind it, then you, it won't be a disaster, there will be decreases in these statistics so it's like, um, I think music plays a huge role in bringing us all together, people from different cultures, age groups, everything, like whether we know it or not, music, whether we do music, whether we just listen to it on the train home, is a big part in our lives, whether we realise it or not. And by using it, for me, I know I was like, I was never like on the streets or whatever people, like I was never involved in that. But I do know some people that was involved in that, that was in the same room as me, and instead of being out there. And I think I used to go to um, like, um, it was a little studio, a little studio in Shirley, because I'm from Korean, it was a little studio in Shirley and um, they used to do, I think it was every Thursday evening, sort of like that. Um, kids could come in free and they'd have access to like studio equipment and everything like that. And it was just a positive, such a positive vibe. And it inspires people and it makes them not want to, like, do you know, it gives them something to do, basically. So I think it's a music is a, it's a mistake not to um, exploit it in all the positive ways it can be.